My dear pupils back at home, how are you? I want to believe that um, you are doing well and um, taking measures to protect yourself against this uh, deadly virus that is Corona. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you for our social studies uh, lesson today. That is uh, class uh, 8, whereby we are going to look at uh, uh, the last arm of the government, that is uh, the judiciary. But before I just do that, I feel it is important to uh, remind you on what you are supposed to do in order to assist in curbing this uh, deadly virus that is uh, Corona. But kindly remain at home. But if you are forced by circumstances to leave your home, then always put on your mask. Avoid shaking people's uh, hands, maintain social distance, wash your hands regularly uh, using soap and water. If you have the sanitizers, the better. Something else is that avoid touching your eyes, your nose, your mouth, uh, using your hands. Because we are told that this virus settles on different surfaces. And our hands are prone of uh, touching uh, different surfaces. So uh, supposing you touch a surface that was contaminated, then you can imagine you are likely to infect yourself with this deadly virus. Above all, let us continue praying uh, to God to give us a breakthrough in this. Having said that, uh, let me now go straight away uh, to uh, the topic of the day whereby we are going to talk about uh, the judiciary. Uh, remember, we have tackled uh, the uh, two arms of the government, that is uh, we have tackled the legislature, the executive, and today uh, we are tackling the last uh, arm of the government, that is uh, the judiciary. Now, when you talk about the judiciary, these are uh, uh, the court systems. The court system is the one we refer to as the judiciary. This is the, uh, uh, the arm of the government that, that interpret, uh, interprets laws. So that is to say that the main function of uh, the judiciary is to interpret laws. Now, it settles uh, disputes through uh, court systems and, uh, uh, and the tribunals. Uh, it settles uh, court, I mean, disputes through court systems and uh, tribunals. The judiciary is supposed to uh, work independently. It is supposed to work independently. This means that uh, uh, when uh, hearing cases, uh, it should be purely guided by the evidence presented to it and uh, the law. So uh, that's why we say that uh, the judiciary is supposed to be independent. Now, all the judges are appointed by the president uh, according to the recommendation from the Judicial Service Commission, but uh, again subject to approval by the National Assembly. Remember, we talked about uh, uh, when we were discussing about the legislature and in specific the National Assembly, we said one of the functions of the uh, National Assembly is to approve uh, appointment of senior uh, civil servants. And that's why I'm saying that all judges, including the chief justice, the deputy chief justice, and other judges of uh, superior courts, are appointed by the president according to the recommendation from the Judicial Service Commission, but are subject to approval by the National Assembly. Now, allow me to talk about uh, members of uh, the judiciary, the members of the judiciary. Now, the judiciary com comprises of the following. One, the Chief Justice, the Deputy Chief Justice, Chief uh, Registrar, we have uh, judges of uh, superior uh, courts, that is uh, judges of uh, high court, judges of uh, court of appeal, judges of uh, supreme court. Then we also have uh, magistrates of uh, the subordinate courts. The subordinate courts, these are magistrate courts, and I'm going to elaborate on that. Then we also have other officials over the courts. Now, something, my dear pupils, I want you to note here is that uh, the head of the judiciary is the chief justice who is appointed by the president according to the recommendation from the Judicial Service Commission, but again subject to approval by the National uh, Assembly. We also have uh, uh, the deputy uh, chief justice who assists the chief justice. Uh, we have... Uh, um, the chief administrator of the law court, 
is the chief registrar, who is also the accounting officer of the judiciary. So if you ask about who is the accounting officer of the judiciary, or who is uh, the head of administration in the uh, judiciary, then you talk about uh, the chief registrar. All magistrates are appointed by uh, the Judicial Service Commission, in short, uh, G, uh, JSC, Judicial Service Commission. So if you ask asked again about uh, who appoints the magistrates, then uh, you can always say that uh, magistrate, magistrates are appointed by the Judicial Service Commission. Now, a judge shall retire from office on attaining the age of 70 years. That is the retirement age of uh, the judges. Now, allow me to talk about the levels of the law courts in Kenya. Now, there are uh, three systems of courts in Kenya. These are, uh, one, we have uh, the superior courts. Two, we have the subordinate courts. Uh, the special, uh, uh, special courts or special uh, tribunals. Uh, special tribunals uh, also make up uh, uh, the, um, the court system. That is, the level of law courts in Kenya, they make up uh, the, uh, the levels of uh, the courts. Now, let me start uh, with the superior courts. The superior courts consists of uh, the, supreme, uh, uh, the supreme court, that is the highest court in Kenya. We have the court of appeal, which is the second um, uh, highest court in Kenya. And then we have the third highest court in Kenya, that is the high court. And high court is also known as a constitutional court. So those ones are uh, uh, what uh, makes up the superior courts. We also have uh, the magistrate courts. The magistrate courts consists of a uh, uh, chief magistrate court, principal magistrate court, senior resident magistrate court, resident magistrate court. Then we have a uh, district magistrate court. Uh, and then uh, we have a uh, court of uh, the first, second, and third class. Now, let me talk about uh, what I have said, uh, the special tribunals, uh, tribunals, uh, special tribunals, or special uh, courts. This one's comprised of the Kadis courts. These are uh, for Muslims. We have martial courts for soldiers. We have uh, juvenile courts. These are uh, for children, that is, uh, children under 18 years. Then we have uh, uh, some uh, other tribunals. Uh, for example, uh, we have uh, uh, industrial courts, we have rent tribunal courts, we have business premises uh, tribunal courts. So these are what you call special courts, special courts. Now, let me now go uh, to uh, these uh, courts uh, um, and uh, maybe expound on them. And let me start with the highest court in Kenya, that is uh, the Supreme Court. Now. The Supreme Court consists of uh, the Chief Justice, who is the President of the Court. Then we have the Deputy Chief Justice, who is the Vice President of uh, uh, the Court. Then we have uh, the five uh, judges. That is to say that uh, the Supreme Court comprises of uh, seven judges. That is uh, when we include the Chief Justice and uh, the Deputy Chief Justice, plus the five uh, other judges. Now, the Supreme Court uh, consists of uh, um, uh, those seven uh, judges. That is, uh, I've said uh, that is the, uh, the, the, the Chief Justice, the Deputy Chief Justice, and the five uh, judges. Now, the court is uh, properly constituted uh, for the purpose of uh, its proceedings, or proceeding if uh, there are five judges. If there are uh, five bench judges, then uh, um, the business of uh, this court can uh, be carried uh, on. But uh, if there are less than five, then uh, uh, it is uh, short of uh, the, uh, the required number for the business uh, to continue in this, uh, uh, in this court, that is the superior court. Now, functions of the Supreme Court, one, it determines disputes relating uh, to the election of uh, uh, the office of the president. So uh, it listens to presidential uh, election dispute. And this is the main function of uh, this uh, court, that is the Supreme Court. Two, it hears uh, and determines appeals from other uh, uh, courts, 
uh, court that is a court of appeal and any other court or tribunal. Thirdly, all courts are, uh, other than the Supreme Court are bound by the decisions of the Supreme Court. So that is to say that uh, what the Supreme Court uh, puts across, it is final and is, uh, other courts are bound to this decision. Now, I want you to understand this, my dear pupils, that uh, judges of the Supreme Court should have uh, at least 15 years experience as a superior court judge. That is uh, either in a high court or court of appeal. And this judge must have uh, that experience of 15 good years. Allow me now to talk about uh, the Court of Appeal. The Court of Appeal should not have uh, fewer than uh, 12 judges. Should not have fewer than uh, 12 judges. It is uh, headed by the President of the Court of Appeal. Now, the President of the Court of Appeal is elected uh, by judges of the Court of Appeal from among themselves. The Court of Appeal has the jurisdiction to hear appeals from uh, the High Court and any other court or tribunal below it. A judge, of, uh, um, a judge uh, serves under this court, should, or a judge serving under this court should have at least a 10 years uh, experience as a superior judge. Uh, my dear pupils, uh, allow me now to talk about uh, another superior court, uh, that is uh, the High Court. And as I said, a High Court is uh, uh, a constitutional court. And this is the court whereby um, the constitution is interpreted. If uh, maybe something um, has been done, and uh, maybe there is uh, some dispute whether it was done according to the constitution or to the law or not, then it will be taken to the um, uh, high court for inter inter interpretation. So a high court, that is uh, what you call a constitutional court. Now, it is headed by the uh, principal judge of the high court. It is headed, uh, the High Court is headed by the principal uh, judge of the High Court. The principal uh, uh, judge of the High Court shall be, um, shall, be by the, uh, shall be elected by the judges of the High Court from among themselves. That is uh, the principal judge who is the head of a High Court is uh, elected uh, uh, from among the judges of the High Court. It is, uh, this is the third senior most uh, law court in Kenya, and it has, uh, uh, it hears, sorry, it hears uh, cases uh, involving treason, murder, robbery with violence, and election petitions that are below the president. Now, it hears uh, appeals from the subordinate courts. Subordinate courts, I told you, these are magistrate courts. We are going to discuss again about that. It has a, a supervisory jurisdiction over the subordinate court. So uh, the High Court will listen to any case that uh, emanate from the subordinate courts. Now, my dear pupils, now allow me to talk about uh, the subordinate uh, courts. Uh, I've told you that uh, when you talk about uh, subordinate courts or helping courts, these are uh, magistrate courts. These are magistrate courts. We also have uh, the Cadiz Court, the Court of Marshal, and uh, other court tribunals established by the Act of Parliament are uh, falls under the subordinate courts. The courts are called uh, subordinate courts because uh, they are below the superior courts. They are below the superior courts, and they are supposed to assist uh, the superior courts in carrying out uh, uh, the judicial mandates. Now, allow me to talk about uh, um, the Cadiz Court. The Cadiz Court should not have fewer than uh, three Cadiz. The Cadiz, these are uh, the, 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 the Cadiz, these are uh, the, uh, the magistrates uh, who serve in the Cadiz Court. And I remember I told you Cadiz Courts deal with the Islamic cases. The Cadiz Courts deal with uh, uh, cases uh, that are related to Islamic uh, law. It only deals with cases uh, of people of uh, Muslim faith. 
These courts are headed by the chief Kadi. The chief Kadi. The chief Kadi is assisted by a number of Kadis, uh, a number of uh, Kadis. Appeal from Kadis uh, court uh, go to the High Court. An appeal from Kadis court will uh, always be taken to the High Court. It resolves uh, cases uh, regarding uh, to marriage matters, successional and inheritance, divorce, and personal status. Allow me to talk about uh, the court uh, martial. Uh, these are uh, temporary courts. Uh, they try cases related to offenses committed by military personnel. They are only set when there is a case to be had. Appeal from this court uh, go to high court. Now, the first martial court um, was established in Kenya in 1982. Uh, that is uh, uh, when we had uh, the attempted uh, coup. So that is uh, about uh, the court uh, martial. We also have other uh, courts, like uh, we have uh, the industrial courts. These are uh, courts that deal with uh, uh, disputes related uh, to employers and the employees employers and employees. If there is a dis dispute emanating from that, then it will be taken to this industrial court. My dear people, uh, uh, we have uh, reached at the end of our lesson successfully, and um, I would like to thank you for having been with me uh, from the start of the lesson up to now. I want to advise you that you can replay this uh, video as many times as you can in order to get acquainted uh, with facts about uh, the judiciary. Uh, something else I would like uh, to advise you that uh, please uh, subscribe uh, to my YouTube, uh, my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, on account Peter Namasaka. Yes, right, Peter Namasaka on uh, YouTube and uh, you will get to see all the lessons that uh, have been uh, dealt with there. Lessons on uh, different subjects like mathematics, science, Kiswahili, English, social studies, CRE. So please uh, visit there, subscribe, and when you subscribe, there are no charges uh, on your side. It is only to notify you that any time I post a new lesson there, you will always be notified that uh, there is something new that has been posted uh, on my account. Remember, uh, the, this YouTube account is um, purposely uh, to assist you and especially during this difficult time uh, that uh, uh, we are at home because of uh, the painful reality of Corona. Otherwise, I want to wish you well. Please continue working hard at home and stay safe. Bye-bye.